Hey everyone, this is Martin MI5. Today I wanted to talk about Gen Xers and young boomers who are tired of working and are thinking about the possibility of retiring early. If you guys are in that age category, I'm in my 40s. Uh, I've been working around, mm, I'll say 32 years total. Started off at Jack in a Box. My first job, 16 years old. Did that for about four years. Left that, moved into grocery. Did that for, man, countless amount of years. Done construction. I was doing construction. A lot of layoffs. It was not steady work. Every time I turned around, any holiday came up, they were laying us off. I did that for like four or five years. And I'm like, you know what? Screw that. I've done tile setting. Uh, so many different types of jobs. Mostly service industry, customer service. I say either restaurant or retail. My very last job was working as a grocery store deli clerk for a you know large grocery company. I've always worked for large corporations of some kind. Jack in a Box was my first job. It wasn't just a little mom and pop. Burger place, work for large grocery stores. The construction company was kind of privately owned. It wasn't real huge, but it eventually went out of business. That's before, no, after I had left, it went out of business. So no big loss there either. But I don't know about you guys, but the older you get, the more and more tired you seem to get. <laughs> I've been tired for a while. I've had my fair share of health problems. I have high blood pressure. I'm diabetic. I have type 2 diabetes. I also have some kind of a... Um, they're still checking into it. I have like a connective tissue disorder, which really, really, really fatigues me, both in my body itself and just like in my mind. So I didn't know what was going on. I got it checked out. They're still looking further into it. And yeah, it sucks. It's, it's really bad. But... Uh, even if you don't have any kind of disorders, it's just harder as you get older. And how many of you out there are feeling the pressure? Maybe you're in your 40s, maybe you're in your 50s. And you're just looking at that 65, 67 years old range for retirement. And the government's trying to push you to retire later and later and later. Now they don't even want you to retire to like 70 years old. I'm like, what the hell? I've seen people who have turned down retirement because they said, oh, I don't have enough money to retire yet. I got to keep working another five, six, seven years or whatever. These people literally, I'm not kidding. They literally die at work. They have heart attacks. They break down. People say, oh, it's good exercise to go to work. This is not exercise. This is stress, mental and physical on your body. It's not healthy for you. It produces high cortisol levels and it just... It degrades your body and your health. And you're not happy. No one around you in your life is happy because you're working your butt off. And they see that you're literally killing yourself every day. And for what? For at my last grocery job that I was working, I was making like 14 something an hour after being there 10 years. Okay? And then they try to fool you. Oh, well, we give you good benefits. Not really. They cover for like one dental visit per year. And maybe a couple doctor visits. Anything special added on top of that? Forget about it. And you guys might have a great dental insurance or vision insurance at your job. I don't know. Not speaking for everybody here. I've heard people getting tired of working six-figure jobs. I was making nowhere near that. I was making like 24K take home. Now that just didn't feel worth it. Granted, I am only a high school educated person. Well, I shouldn't say that. A formal education, I have a high school diploma. But I have informal education as well. A formal education will earn you a living. An informal education will make you a fortune. Just remember that. And I'm kind of getting to what I'm going with here. So I, I put up all that crap all those years, and I said to myself, I think it was like 2017. We're in 2024 now. And I said, you know what? I'm tired of this. I don't want to do this anymore. 
I see myself getting worse and worse. And I see people, I've talked to older people and I watch what was happening to them. And I'm like, I don't want this to happen to me. God, please don't let it happen to me. <laughs> and I don't want it to happen to you guys either. So just a lot of people say, oh, I'll work. I'll work till the day I die, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really? You really want to throw your life away? You want to give your life to a company that's paying you, I mean, menial wages? No. No. I refuse it. And I refuse. And I'm going to keep refusing it. So I retired myself at around age 40. Not legally retired because you can't retire when you're 40. I'm not getting Social Security. I'm not getting any kind of um, retirement checks or pensions or anything like that. What I did do in 2017 is I started researching. I'm like, how do I get out of this? I got to do something different. So what I did, my cat's in here. So if you guys hear any ruckus, it's him. His name is Georgie. If you guys like cats, leave a thumbs up. Anyway, yeah, he's a good, he's a good little partner of mine. He's a good, good guy. Um, where was I at? Oh, so I started doing some research. And I'm like, I got to make more money somehow not working hourly you know, $14 an hour. There's got to be a better way. So my first method was to start, well, I didn't know anything at the time. It was probably like in 2016. I just started working. I'm going to work as many jobs as I can. That was my answer at the time. So I had my grocery store clerk deli job. I got a second job. I forgot where it was. I think it was Subway. And then um, I started working for Lyft, the driving company like Uber. And I'm like, man, I was burning out. I was working day and night, but I started saving up some money. And the sooner you guys can do this, the better. Because you, if you start doing it when you're young, it'd be much better than when you try to do it when you're older. So people that have no urgency, I keep telling them, man, you're not getting any younger. You guys are in your 20s, mid-20s, and you're not doing anything with your life yet. What, do you, what the hell do you think you're going to do when you become, you know, in your thir late 30s, 40s, or 50s, you're that worn out now. You have no ambition. You're going to be in a world of hurt. You're going to be one of those people working till they're 70 or 80 years old or just wind up just dying where you're still working because you never got to enjoy life or live anything outside of your job. And uh, so I started looking a little further into things, and I started discovering what they call passive income which was through what they call affiliate marketing. Just to make a long story short, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, affiliate marketing is basically you recommend a product or review a product, you put a link for it, and you get paid a commission. I was doing that mostly through Amazon. It's called Amazon Affiliate Program or Amazon Associates. I still do that to this day. Started making more money that way. I created a drop shipping company. Like I said, I'll go into all these details in the next video if you guys want to know more about it. I want to make this, I just want to cover it a little bit here, get, not get too, too deep in this particular video. Um, drop shipping, I created a social media marketing company where I would promote dentists and they would pay me anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 a month per dental client. And I started building this all up and I started creating a six figure income even while I was still working there. Even the managers were noticing, like the store managers, they're supposed to get, you know, 100K a year or whatever. They're like, wow, you're really driving a nice car and all this stuff. I had a nice vehicle than they did at some point. Cause I, I bought my first BMW and I started doing really well. In May of 2020, during the pandemic, I finally said, you know what? I'm out of here. This is the time. That's when I got into day trading and walked out that door of that grocery store and never looked back. I've never needed to go back to them and I'm never going to. I know you guys can do the same thing. If I can do it, any of you guys can do it out there. It's it's not easy, but it's simple. I mean you're gonna have to do some hard work and people, oh they hate that the H word when it comes to hard. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I did it. Um Got into day trading, made enough money doing that combined with the other incomes that I had created, and it just snowballed. I got to the point where I don't have to do any of that crap anymore. 
And I'm so, 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 so happy that I looked up all these various things and learned from a lot of great people. One of them I want to give a shout out. His name is Tanner J. Fox. He was a younger guy. He taught me a lot. He made like $3 million in a year as a young guy doing Amazon FBA and some other things he was doing, affiliate marketing and so forth. And I'm like, you know what? This young kid can do that. This old guy is going to try it. And I did. I actually contacted him. He's spoken directly on the phone to me, guided me and helped me out. And it, it was great. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of hope. If you guys are tired and you're sick of working for people and you want to enjoy your life more and do stuff that's important to you, like I'm right here with my cat right now in my studio recording because I chose to get away from that other business. Otherwise, I would have to be asleep and be at work at what? Six in the morning, five in the morning. It's like uh, 12 midnight right now. <laughs> so I can literally create my own schedule now and wake up what I, when I want to, do what I want to, when I want to. So I'm so, so, so grateful for that. And I want to I'll do everything I can to help you guys achieve the same thing. So if you guys are sick of work, you want more time to yourselves, you want to do your hobbies, you want to be hiking, spend more time with your kids, whatever you may want. Also, if you guys are into cooking, you like to cook, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. I can teach you guys how to do that from the comfort of your own home and set your own hours and make money. Probably at least, a if you're just starting off, 50 to to $100 a day, just being in the comfort of your own home and, and you create your own schedule and work whenever you want to. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. So that's it for this particular video. I'm probably going to make a part two. If you guys give enough likes, make sure you like that. Hit that like button, uh, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so that you guys get notified of my daily uploads. Okay? so. Peace to all you guys out there. Good luck. Don't give up. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. So hang in there. I'm rooting for you guys. See you.